What happens when multiple weather systems affect different regions of the United States simultaneously? Let's examine each weather system and understand how they will develop over the next several days. Climate patterns, including La Nina conditions, contribute to this atmospheric setup. The Madden-Julian Oscillation is in a phase that typically supports continued cold eastern weather. Stratospheric weather patterns may help maintain the current weather configuration. Long-range forecasts show the pattern continuing through at least the third week of December. Christmas travel planning should account for continued winter weather possibilities. Weather patterns like this one can persist for several weeks once they become established. Extended cold patterns have occurred before but are notable when they happen in early winter. Here are the important timing details I promised at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Today through tonight, monitor ice accumulations in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Thursday morning, heavy snow will peak across Michigan, Ohio, and western New York. The winter storm outlook shows a slight risk area extending from Grand Forks to Green Bay. Thursday afternoon, snow squall risk is highest across the Ohio Valley, especially in West Virginia. Thursday night into Friday, Arctic air begins moving in, causing rapid temperature drops. Saturday through Sunday, the coldest period with very low temperatures across northern areas. Sunday morning represents the coldest period with temperatures below negative 20 in some northern areas. Monday continues very cold conditions with below freezing temperatures reaching the Gulf Coast. Tuesday may provide slight moderation, but temperatures will remain well below normal. Next week shows continued cold weather with only minor day-to-day -day changes. For the Pacific Northwest, tonight through Thursday represents the period of heaviest rainfall. River levels will continue rising Thursday morning, even as precipitation begins decreasing. Friday brings improvement, but landslide risk remains elevated for several days. This includes significant portions of North Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, where winter weather hazards are developing. And now, as promised, at the six-minute mark, here are specific timing details for your area. Twin Cities area. Flash freeze conditions will develop between 8 p.m. and midnight tonight. Milwaukee and Madison. Heavy snow peak occurs from midnight through 4 a.m. Thursday. Chicago. Transition to snow happens Thursday morning, with travel impacts continuing through noon. Detroit, heaviest snowfall Thursday between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m., decreasing by midday. Cleveland, intermittent heavy snow Thursday morning, most significant between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Buffalo, peak snowfall Thursday between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., followed by lake effect snow. Syracuse and Albany, heavy snow Thursday afternoon, 2 p.m. through 8 p.m., represents the main impact period. Portland, Maine, snow arrives Thursday evening, continuing overnight into Friday morning. Columbus and Cincinnati, snow squall risk is highest Thursday between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Meteorologists classify this as a fast-moving weather system with multiple types of winter precipitation. Charleston, West Virginia, most significant snow squalls Thursday evening, 5 p.m. through 9 p.m. For cold air timing, Thursday night begins temperature drops across all northern areas. Friday morning lows will reach 10 to 20 degrees below zero across the upper Midwest. Saturday morning extends very cold conditions into the Ohio Valley and southern Great Lakes. Sunday morning brings the coldest period with very low temperatures. Wind chill value Sunday morning may reach negative 40 to 50 degrees across northern areas. These conditions can cause frostbite within 5 to 10 minutes of skin exposure. Vehicle preparation becomes important as cold weather affects battery performance significantly. Home heating systems will work harder potentially leading to equipment problems. Emergency shelters may experience increased demand during the coldest periods. Tomorrow's forecast shows this system moving eastward and southeastward, affecting Michigan and the interior northeast. Preparation should begin immediately rather than waiting for conditions to worsen. Snow removal equipment should be checked and fueled before the storm arrives tonight. Ice melt and rock salt supplies should be obtained now as demand increases after storms. Emergency supply kits need review for potential extended power outages. Battery-powered radios and flashlights become important during widespread outages. Food supplies should cover at least 72 hours for all family members. Water storage is advisable if pipes might freeze during extended cold periods. Prescription medications need adequate supplies in case travel becomes difficult. 
Vehicle emergency kits should include warm blankets, food, water, and charging devices. Fuel tanks should remain full to prevent fuel line problems in extreme cold. Areas including Utica, Albany, and portions of Maine will experience winter weather impacts through Thursday evening. Alternative heating sources require proper ventilation and carbon monoxide monitoring. Travel plans for Thursday through Sunday should be reviewed and modified as needed. Tomorrow's forecast will provide updates on how these weather systems are developing. Multiple weather events require ongoing monitoring rather than single-day preparation. Communication plans should include multiple ways to contact family members. Neighbor assistance becomes important during extended, challenging weather periods. Checking on elderly residents and those with health conditions becomes a community responsibility. Pets and livestock need adequate shelter and access to unfrozen water. Business continuity plans should be implemented for organizations in affected regions. Remote work options help maintain operations when travel becomes difficult. The storm presents three main concerns, freezing rain, snow accumulation, and strong winds occurring together. Employee safety policies must address weather-related travel restrictions. This weather pattern represents a significant test of infrastructure and preparedness. Multiple weather events occurring together require coordinated emergency response. Recovery periods between events may be limited for complete infrastructure restoration. Mental health considerations become important during extended, challenging weather periods. Social connections may become more difficult when transportation is consistently challenging. Seasonal mood effects may be more noticeable during extended periods of difficult weather. Community support networks provide essential assistance during extended weather challenges. This weather pattern will test infrastructure resilience across multiple systems. Power grids face challenges from both ice damage and increased heating demand. Freezing rain accumulations may reach one quarter inch in some locations, creating hazardous travel conditions. Transportation systems require extended time to recover after multiple weather impacts. Water treatment facilities must continue operating despite temperature challenges. Communication networks need backup power and protection from ice accumulation. The pattern's expected persistence suggests this represents more than temporary disruption. Weather patterns can sometimes continue for weeks once they become well established. Planning strategies should consider weeks rather than days of challenging conditions. Resource planning must account for sustained rather than temporary increased demand. This weather situation demonstrates the importance of comprehensive weather preparation. Multiple weather hazards require preparation for various scenarios rather than single threats. Forecast accuracy improves as weather systems approach, but the general pattern shows consistency. Ice accumulation combined with winds may cause scattered power outages in affected areas. The next 48 hours will provide important information about the intensity of each weather system. However, the overall weather pattern appears well established through mid-December. Tomorrow's analysis will provide updated timing and intensity information. We'll also examine developing weather patterns for the Christmas travel period. Additional atmospheric river events may develop for the Pacific Northwest region. Eastern cold patterns may continue as the weather pattern becomes more established. Stay informed through official weather services as conditions continue developing. Emergency management agencies provide current safety guidance for local conditions. This significant weather pattern requires careful preparation and ongoing attention from residents in affected areas. Multiple weather systems occurring together represent an important weather situation for this winter season. Current weather radar shows the precipitation changing from rain to snow near Fargo and Grand Forks this afternoon. Today is Wednesday, December 10th, 2025, and several significant weather events are developing across North America. Mixed precipitation, including sleet and freezing rain, is developing across central Minnesota. Areas showing mixed precipitation types on radar present the most challenging driving conditions. By 5 p.m. Central Time today, heavy snow will begin affecting Minneapolis and Duluth. This system moves quickly with snowfall rates potentially reaching 2 inches per hour in some areas. While snowfall rates are notable, the rapid accumulation combined with other factors creates the primary concern. Temperature changes will occur rapidly as the system passes through each area. Minneapolis will change from rain this afternoon to temperatures in the 20s by midnight tonight. 
This temperature drop will create flash freeze conditions on roads and sidewalks. Heavy snow will affect Detroit around 2 a.m. Thursday, with some impacts possible in Cleveland. Toronto, Buffalo, and central New York will experience heavy snowfall Thursday around 10 a.m. A winter storm is bringing freezing rain, snow, and strong winds across portions of the upper Midwest. Thursday afternoon and evening will bring snow to Pennsylvania, upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. After the main system moves offshore, lake effect snow will develop across the Great Lakes region. Michigan may experience significant lake effect snow with locally higher accumulations possible. The Ohio Valley will experience snow squalls Thursday afternoon and evening. Snow squalls will create brief periods of reduced visibility across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. West Virginia's mountainous areas face the highest likelihood for intense snow squalls. Next, I'll detail the cold weather pattern that will follow this winter storm system. Most areas affected by the storm will receive 3 to 6 inches of snow from the main system. Some locations may receive up to 8 inches, with lake effect areas potentially seeing higher amounts. The weather impacts extend beyond snow accumulation to include ice, wind, and rapid temperature changes. At the same time, a substantial atmospheric river is affecting the Pacific Northwest with heavy rainfall. Timing during typical travel hours increases the potential for transportation difficulties. Airport operations may experience delays and cancellations in affected cities. Interstate highways from Minneapolis through Chicago to Detroit will face challenging conditions. Interstate 90 across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and into New York requires careful monitoring. Interstate 94 from Minneapolis through Milwaukee to Detroit will experience deteriorating conditions Thursday. Following the winter storm, a significant Arctic air mass will affect much of the central and eastern United States. This air mass will deliver the coldest temperatures experienced so far this winter season. Initial cold air arrives Thursday morning, bringing temperatures well below normal for mid-December. Friday provides some temporary moderation before more intense cold arrives Saturday. Sunday morning will bring very cold temperatures across the northern states. Additionally, an Arctic air mass will bring very cold temperatures to multiple states this weekend. Northern Minnesota may experience actual temperatures around negative 24 degrees Fahrenheit Sunday morning. Davenport, Iowa could reach negative 10 degrees, while Indianapolis may drop below zero. These represent actual air temperatures rather than wind chill calculations. The cold air mass will continue moving southward, affecting areas not typically experiencing such cold. By Monday morning, below freezing temperatures may reach the Gulf Coast region. This cold pattern appears likely to continue rather than providing quick warming. Current forecasts suggest cold conditions will persist through mid-December. Cold weather patterns of this type occur periodically but are less common in early winter. Heating demand will increase significantly as temperatures remain well below normal. Natural gas consumption may exceed typical December levels by 30 to 40 percent in some areas. These weather systems will affect transportation, daily activities, and energy consumption across affected areas. Electrical heating systems will experience increased demand that may stress local power grids. Agricultural operations should implement cold weather protection measures for livestock. Water systems in northern areas may require monitoring to prevent freezing problems. The Pacific Northwest is experiencing different but equally significant weather challenges. A notable atmospheric river is delivering substantial rainfall across Oregon, Washington, and northern Idaho. This weather system represents a significant winter rainfall event for the region. Water rescue operations have already begun in Oregon as some rivers approach flood levels. The primary affected area includes western Washington, Oregon, and the Idaho Panhandle. Rainfall totals of 4 to 10 inches are expected to occur over several days. Warm air associated with this system is reaching higher elevations than typical for December. At the six-minute mark, I'll provide specific timing information for when these conditions reach your area. This warmer air at elevation is causing snowmelt that adds to flooding potential. Multiple hazards include river flooding, mudslides, avalanches, and rock slides in mountainous areas. Residents near rivers or areas with previous fire damage should monitor conditions closely. Conditions in steep terrain can change rapidly with little advance warning. The heaviest rainfall will continue tonight and Thursday before beginning to decrease. 
Thursday afternoon should bring gradual improvement, though flooding may continue for several days. I'll provide detailed timing information for all these weather systems in the next segment. A G3 geomagnetic storm is also affecting Earth today and tonight. Under clear conditions, this might create aurora viewing opportunities across northern states. However, cloud cover and precipitation from weather systems will limit most viewing opportunities. Important safety details appear at 5 minutes and 20 seconds, including temperature forecast and preparation guidance. Areas with potential aurora visibility include Washington State, Maine, and northern Minnesota. Unfortunately, these same areas are currently experiencing heavy precipitation and cloud cover. Space weather effects will continue for approximately 48 hours. Multiple weather systems occurring together create increased coordination requirements for emergency management. Emergency agencies across affected regions have activated coordination procedures. Transportation departments are positioning equipment for winter weather response operations. Utility companies have prepared additional crews for potential power outage restoration. Medical facilities are preparing for possible increases in weather-related injuries. School districts are reviewing policies for potential weather-related closures. The economic effects include immediate storm costs plus increased heating expenses. The combination of these weather events creates conditions that require careful planning and preparation. Holiday shipping may experience delays during this important pre-Christmas period. Insurance companies anticipate increased claims for weather-related damages. Agricultural markets may respond to concerns about crop storage in very cold areas. Tourism operations in affected areas may see booking changes and operational adjustments. The weather pattern shows characteristics associated with a negative Arctic oscillation phase. This atmospheric pattern typically supports cold conditions across eastern North America. Western states often experience warmer temperatures and active storm systems during this pattern. This pattern difference helps explain the atmospheric river affecting the Pacific Northwest. The weather pattern over western states may continue generating atmospheric river events. Oregon, Washington, and Idaho should prepare for possible additional flooding threats through mid-December.